been broken in When it pours on me I can soak it all in I'm alive And my blood is pumping like a gas line Got an edge I'm holding Got an edge I'm holding What is up guys, welcome back to another episode. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. If you are a returning subscriber, it's good to see your face again. If you are new here, my name is Reese and I make fly fishing videos and tutorials that will help you catch more fish. So if you'd like to learn more, please press the red subscribe button and smash that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. Now you join me here today on the banks of Ibrook Fishery. We are filming a two-part series here today with Lindsay. Lindsay's filmed part one already. So, you'll have seen we've caught a few fish in the first episode. Let's see how we get on the second. Right, we've just come up to another part of the lake. A bit more calmer wind. Let's see if we can get any of the fish up here. We just see a fish move in on the top just now. So hopefully, a few of his friends are here. Sorry. Cat's whisker on tin bread, egg always works. Yeah, that's right. There we go, there we go. Saw that fish rise. And then he took it. No, just one. Oh, you said. Got the engine. Oh, snap me. Snap me on the engine. Reese, 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 Reese. Poor angling that was. Lens poor angling. Yeah, he caught the engine and went round the engine and it snapped. Oh, right then. Try again. Fish on there now. Yep, there you go. There you go. There you go. Happy days. Nice to block up to both of us, look. There we go. Well, we've just changed location, um, wanted a little bit of sunshine, and uh, we've watched the bank anglers down the, down the bank from us take fish after fish, and uh, Reese suggested that we nip right hard into the bank. And I said, I bet we'll get one first cast, and lo and behold, um, we've both got fish in the boat. Can we take us back up? Do these fish are tight on the bank or what? Oh, they might, they might, they might. There's one, there's one, there's one. No worries, they're not tight to the bank. They were, they are whatever you want them to be. Yeah. It's hard again, is it? This lead is too long again. Need to learn from my mistakes. Oh. There we go, lost him, my own mistake. Yes, ah, oh, Reese, come on. There you go, there you go. The fish just can't say no to the fab. These fish just can't say no to a fab. 
And there you go, it's another rank stocky. So we've just come along to the bank now just to give you an idea of the setup that we're using. So I've coupled up today with a Vision 7 weight still a Maniac 10 foot. It is a lovely rod. It's strong in the butt section, enough to bully a fish, but sensitive in the tip section. Perfect for any sort of washing line, straight line methods. And that's exactly what we're doing today. So I'm using a midge tip, a real midge tip in fact. I've coupled that up with an 18 foot leader. Now, as you've seen in my tutorial videos, a lot of the leaders I fish are quite long, but today we've gone for a six foot, six foot, six foot leader, fishing two nymphs or buzzers, and then a fab on the point. I have played around a little bit with fishing a fab on the top dropper as well, because we are fishing over fresh fish. But what I've tended to find is, is that two fabs is too much color, and a single fab on the point is just enough. And then all I'm doing is casting it out, giving it two sharp pulls to bring the fish in, and then almost fishing them static. And so all that's happening is the line is locking up and the fish are on. Think about me one more time before you go. Feeling this way for far too long And now you're gone Took me away from all of my fears Can I see anything now? <laughs> what can I say about that? Reese and I has come back down to the tower. It's where we started our day, and we thought we'd have a few more drifts into the into the tower and beyond. And uh, the sport's been electric. Just as we've come round on the drift, Reese has cut the engine, and a fish has just took my blob right off the surface. Um, the fish here are really hard fighting at Ibrook, and they're a credit to the management. I got a fish beer, I think. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Yep, on again. There we go. Found them now. Found them now. How can I bring this fish in? There's two on. Yep, there he is. There's the second one. And that is the end of today. So we had a wonderful day's fishing, I'll be honest. We had plenty of fish, plenty of hard fighting fish, especially here at Ibrook. And the washing line reigned supreme. Absolutely, yeah. The washing line was the way ahead today. I think because the fish were so high in the water, straight line and buzzers after the first, or even the second drift, I knew the writing was on the wall. And uh, if I didn't change sharpish, I was going to get my ass handed to me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, it definitely did do yeah. the job today. Yeah, it was good. So we had a really enjoyable day today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And let us know if you like these types of videos where we collaborate together. I'd like to know more about that. So leave a comment in the comment section. 
But for now, guys, my name is Reese. And my name is Lindsay. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.